In this DIY, I will show you how to make this disappearing footprints and text pillow. Image search the I solemnly swear and mischief manage quotes in the fonts you like. You can also use this font when drawing your name. I decided to draw my text and here's how it looks. Place the pillow inside the pillowcase and mark where you need to cut off. Remove the pillow and use a ruler to connect the marks. Add half an inch seam allowance to the newly drawn lines. Then cut it out. Place your drawing underneath the first layer of the pillowcase, then grab your black fabric paint. Start tracing out the letters first. You can also use a fine black permanent marker. Then outline the ribbon. You can also create shadows like I did. The trick to shading is to use the paint like a watercolor paint, but use less water. Here's how it looks after. These are the paint pigments I use. These are thermochromatic paints, so they change color at 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 degrees Celsius. All the information will be in the description box below. You would need less than a quarter spoon of each color and mix it with white fabric paint. Place your name under the first layer of the pillowcase at the top left corner. Then use the newly mixed paint to start tracing the letters out. Then start tracing the ribbon. You can use a bigger brush to fill in the ribbon ends. You can also shade this ribbon. Next, place the mischief managed quote underneath the first layer of the pillowcase and align it at the bottom left corner of the pillow. Start tracing the letters out. Then trace the ribbon out. The colors might disappear when you're painting them, but don't worry, it will come back later. Start drawing footprints from the Mischief Managed ribbon to your name ribbon. Use the same color as you used for your name. Use a bigger brush when drawing the footprints. The key is to place a big drop in the front and then a small drop at the back to create the heel. This is what it looks like when it's all complete. Sew the sides and the bottom with right sides together, but leave a hole in the bottom around 6 inches wide. Fill the pillowcase with the pillow, then sew the hole closed with the needle and thread or a sewing machine. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and thanks for watching.